In part one of this video series, we talked about some of the earliest iterations of the transmission, and we introduced the concept of the planetary gear set. By the late 1930s, technology was ready for the planetary gear set once again, and the planetary gear set was back for good in the first mass production automatic transmission, the GM Hydromatic 4-Speed. Unlike previous automatic transmission designs, GM's design and the use of hydraulic fluid not only was successful and dependable, but it also set the bar for the future of automatic transmissions. Compound planetary gear sets were controlled by brake bands and clutch packs to control the automatic shifting and gear ratios, and a fluid coupling eliminated the need for a clutch and made driving easier. A fluid coupling utilizes an impeller and turbine housed together in a sealed unit. A fluid coupling provides the ability to transfer the power from the engine into the transmission, but at low speeds it will slip, allowing the vehicle to be stopped and remain in gear without stalling the engine. As the automatic transmission evolved, the standard fluid coupling was replaced by the torque converter. For years, the manual transmission was considered standard, and the automatic was viewed as an additional cost option. But today, in 2023, it's the opposite, at least here in the United States. So how do we get to this point? Well, as the federal government introduced regulations to limit emissions and maximize fuel economy, automatic transmissions have improved in efficiency thanks to innovations like lockup converters and computer-controlled shifting. The continuing evolution of transmissions led to the development of Continuously Variable Transmissions, or CVT. The concept of the CVT has been around longer than the automobile, but it wasn't until the 1990s that CVT started to gain traction in the auto industry. Unlike a conventional automatic transmission, a CVT has no gears. Instead, a CVT employs a steel belt or chain connected to a pair of variable diameter pulleys to vary its gear ratios. It adjusts the gear ratios continuously, keeping engine RPM low and consistent for improved fuel economy. Moving on, have you ever had a customer tell you that a car has an automatic manual? They're probably referring to a direct shift gearbox, also known as a dual clutch transmission. Over the years, they've been mistakenly referred to as an automatic transmission, but internally, it's a manual transmission with gears and synchronizers. The difference is that they have two clutches and two input shafts, one set for odd number gears, one for even number gears. There's no clutch pedal or traditional linkage style of shifter. Instead, clutch and internal gear changing is generally controlled by servos, which in turn are commanded to operate through the logic of an electronic control unit that responds to inputs from a slew of sensors and switches. The advantage of the dual clutch transmission is that it can shift much quicker than any other transmission, and they provide better fuel economy by eliminating any slippage or lag time associated with an automatic. They're extremely popular for performance and racing due to their quick, precise shifting, which means quicker acceleration and no driver error. Admittedly, we're only scratching the surface of the transmission evolution. Probably the most important factor in all of this is that transmission fluid has evolved in lockstep with the transmission themselves, and it's more critical than ever to only use the correct fluid that's specified for each and every transmission, regardless of what it is. A big thanks to our senior automotive technical writer, Eric Garba, for providing most of the information in this two-part video series. Thanks for watching.